we've had another close game in this series which is turning out to be a very exciting series after the first game which was not that hot to discuss this game we have Kepler versus with us Kepler another close defeat for South Africa and again two drop catches towards the final moments the crucial moments is it possibly turning prob- potentially turning out to be a psychological thing well it's costly and, and certainly from a confidence point of view the South African confidence not as high as we've seen it sometimes in the past so today wasn't a great performance it was an uninspiring one so uh, I think the the protests were disappointed with that uh, on the other hand India played well they they stuck to their task well in the run chase. Uh, Yusuf Patan played a, a superb innings and uh, it was a great win for them and, uh, and a terrific match. So it continues to be a very good series. Um, a bit ironic that on a day that we saw four, four very good catches, a couple of drop catches towards the end to prove to be decisive. Well, it's pressure. Pressure at the end when you have to win a match and complete catches to win it. There is always pressure. So uh, South Africa pride themselves on the fielding standards that they set. But uh, it wasn't to be today. So that's something that they have to work on. Um, before, after the first game, you correctly noted that uh, India lacked the intensity from the Test Series. Um, did you like the energy that they showed today? Absolutely. I think that win in Joburg did them the world of good and they carried that intensity and passion into today's match. And uh, it, it showed. They were very competitive today all the way through. They bowled well, they fielded well. Uh, and uh, as I said, they stayed calm during the run chase. So uh, they'll be very happy with this performance. Um, Yusuf Patan. He'll obviously always carry a question mark with him on bouncy wickets, but today he handled the situation really well. I'll always play him if I was in, in the Indian camp, particularly on the subcontinent in the World Cup. I think he's an absolute match winner and uh, he'll always be in my eleven there. What about his innings impressed you the most today? Well, I think today he had to deal with fast bowlers as well and he did that quite well. It's not his strong point, but uh, he, he guts that out and he was courageous against the pace bowling and he handled that well and then of course he was clinical in his execution against the spinners. And a great time for Faf to make his debut a day before the selection? Yeah, he's a gutsy player Faf and uh, I'm pleased for him. So uh, he's worked his way into the World Cup squad from a South African point of view. So that's a good performance and I'm sure he'll do well. And thinking, uh, talking about South Africa, uh, as a player personally speaking from experience, how difficult is it to come back from back-to-back defeats, which are very close defeats, heartbreaking ones? Oh, it's not easy, but I think South Africa will be determined to win in Port Elizabeth. They have to. It's a do-or-die game for them. Uh, if they lose that one, the series is gone. And they don't want to lose a series against India because they've never done so before. So uh, it's a very important match for them and they have got to try and play a lot better. Thanks a lot for joining us, Kepler. Hoping for another close game with Port Elizabeth. I'm sure we'll get one. Cheers.